But uh, England, look, England and Twickenham were always difficult to beat. Yeah, but the, to me, it's, it's all World Cup with England now. And for Eddie Jones, personally, he's been there twice before and beaten in finals. So, I mean, you know, does he really care about his Six Nations? In the big scheme of things. Well, I think going by selection so far, then it is more World Cup focused than it is necessarily Six Nations at the moment. But, uh, you know, at the same time, you have to, you can't just bring them all in at, at the one time. And that's the one thing about the Premiership. There's so many players to select from. There's, yeah. you know, he has been someone who's, it's difficult to force Eddie Jones' hands like we saw with Sam Simmons. How long has mm. he been before he, he can get into the squad? So I think for England, it's trying to figure out who their best, not even 15, but 23, 25, 27 players are. Mm. And it's anybody's, guess at the end of Six Nations probably even. Okay. Yeah, but I think it's rubbish to say that the Six Nations, you know, you're building towards the World Cup. I mean, England should be winning the Six Nations every second or third year. They're, mm. they're public demand Grand Slams. Mm. Um, you can't just treat the... Tri- the public the- demand World Cups, arguably. I mean, you know, it's, it's yeah, still the, world- the fellas from 2003 who you see cropping up as their heroes, not fellas who won slams yeah. in, in the north. The World Cup is 19 months ago. Are you saying so? You're happy. Go out there, lads, uh, you know, play... Uh, don't represent the talent that you have in the country. Mm. Keep on working, building. We'll hope for the best. I mean, you know, to lose a way to... They've only beaten Scotland, I think, once in the last four outings. I mean, for a country like England, that's not good enough. OK. 